Hi everyone and welcome. I'm Muhammad Qatan and today we have question 2 from June 2021 20, paper 41. Figure 2.1 shows a wooden trolley of mass 1.2 kg at rest so initial velocity is zero. On the rough surface of a bench the ball of mass 0.52 gram travels horizontally toward the trolley. The ball embeds itself in the wood of the trolley. The trolley moves with an initial speed 0.065 meter per second. This is final velocity of the trolley. For A, calculate the impulse exerted on the trolley. And according to impulse momentum theorem, I impulse equals to that delta P, the change in momentum. And I equals M mass delta V, the change in velocity. M times the V final velocity minus initial velocity, which is U, equals the mass is 1.2 for the trolley times the final velocity is 0.065 minus initial velocity is 0. Use a calculator to multiply 1.2 times 0.065 if the correct answer is 0.078 Newton seconds. For double I, the speed of the ball as it hits the trolley. Okay, from where I can get the speed of the ball? In Cambridge, you have to ask yourself a very important question. There is an impulse, or there is an impact force, or there is a change in momentum happen to the trolley. This one from where? It's already coming from the movement of the ball. So let me say the change in momentum, I or the delta P, uh, M times V of the mass of the ball and the velocity of the ball. But the delta B impulse from the previous point I, 0.078 equals to the mass of the ball, 0.52. But it's already given in gram. So I have to make it in kilogram times 10 power by 3 times the V, which is unknown. To get the V, just divide both sides by 0.52 times 10 power by minus 3 for this side and the same value at the left side. Just cancel out, get a V, use a calculator, correct answer 150 meter per second. So you get two marks. Well, section B in the question 2. At the trolley moves across the rough surface, it slows down and it stops. Explain in terms of the work done the energy change that take place and the truly slows down. Read the question again. He said the truly moves across the rough surface. And the rough surface, it means there is a kind of friction force because there is a slowing down and decreasing the speed. And finally, the final velocity becomes zero. It means you're totally stopped. In terms of work done, so there is a work done according to energy work theorem. So this work done, happened against the friction force so you have to say there is a kind of friction now you get one mark the examiner is asking for three marks the energy changed so do you think that the energy changed yes because your kinetic energy is gonna be zero why because your final velocity is going to be zero you're to yours you're going to stop at the end so your kinetic energy changes yeah so we have to say decreases or increases so kinetic energy decreases and not only this and it's going to be zero as well we get the second mark for the final mark because of the friction between the car tires and the rough surface there is a thermal energy produced so thermal energy produced because of friction between the trolley, not the car tires, sorry, trolley and the surface. 
the rough surface. Now we get the third mark. Okay, if you'd love the video, please do not forget to share and like and subscribe and look at the description and leave a comment below the video. See you next video.